shaka, how to run your consultancy without a permanent team? Okay, yes, the question keeps coming up. Hey, how can I run my consultancy, my coaching business without a permanent team? And absolutely possible because these days, um, one of the reasons you became a consultant is so that you can have the freedom to work from wherever and then have people to do that for you, all right? The trick is in deciding what it is that you want them to do and most importantly, to get the right people to do it, all right? Now, identification of what they need to do is the first thing you need to decide, okay? And as you can see on the board right there, is it possible to do it? Absolutely. How should you structure it in terms of having real efficiency of you running an amazing um, organization, having a team that is doing what they have to do, most importantly, delivering the result for your clients. Now, let me, I, I have been around for such a while. I've been in business, I've recruited, I have supported teams, you know, across the world. One of the most important things when it comes to success is the quality of your people, the quality of the people you bring in. So as you consider not having a permanent team, I want you to be aware of the price you pay for that, i.e. They, they don't work for you, they work for themselves, you know, um, accountability thing, uh, issues and things like that are very, very high. However, on the other hand, if you get right people who are dedicated, who are amazing, then it can, it can create some real magic, okay? I've got one or two that I've been testing. They're pretty good. They're coming on, okay? And yes, uh, sometimes you've got to take your time. Sometimes you've got to train them. Sometimes you've got to give them a reason to stay with you long term. Past that, it becomes a situation of, okay, are you rewarding them better? And if you are, do they see themselves as, as part of, you know, uh, some kind of mission that they can be proud of? Now, Having said that, there are some uh, uh, positions that you must think about in terms of recruiting. And if you're just starting out, you're going to have to be everybody and everything in your business. Now, depending on how big you are, how, how fast you're going to grow, will determine who comes on, on board initially. But in terms of sales and marketing, that's you, okay? And if you're thinking, oh, you know what? I don't like sales, I don't like marketing, you might as well not start business. Okay, because that is the big part of it, okay? And then, of course, coming up with the content and coming up and, and being the face of the organization, that you cannot delegate. Now, the rest of the stuff we got here, the first person I have up there that you must consider is somebody who does your operations, okay? Somebody who's your IT guy, they understand IT, they understand tech, they understand how to, to get all these funnel things going, they look after your website, they look after, you know, the delivery of stuff, your Kajabi and stuff like that, that person is crucial. I happen to have the best guy on the planet. I've been with this guy for 10 years, so obviously he knows something, but I cannot tell you how valuable he is, okay? And uh, whether you, I would rather you have them permanent than not because they're crucial to the operations of your business, okay? The second uh, role you need to think about is a virtual assistant, especially if you are in the online side of things, okay? A virtual assistant who's going to do all your social media, who's going to arrange all that stuff, who's going to do your, your calendar management, who's going to do the reminders, who's going to get your podcast uh, sessions done, all that stuff. And uh, yes, you can have uh, one who's not permanent, but they take a while to, to groom and to grow. When you get it right, it can create magic. They do what they got to do. You don't have to see them. You know, I, I think uh, there's some great people who have managed to get these people, you know, uh, um, Manage to get great people. One of them I know is Tim Ferriss, and then the other one is Dan Kennedy. They have amazing assistants. Oh, and uh, Joe Polish. You know, people who have been with them for years, so they get to learn them. They're happy to work with them, whether they're permanent or not, it doesn't matter. The next person is the sales side of things, okay? Because as you grow, most coaches, consultants get into this business to make a difference, to impact. And one of the most important things you gotta do quickly is to get somebody on board who can do the sales side of things, who can manage yourselves. They are paid on commission, they don't have to be permanent, um, they're paid on commission, and the more successful they are, the more people they bring in, the better they are, they are off, and uh, the more that you want, okay? And yes, they can be semi-permanent, it doesn't matter, you can um, hire those people of Fiverr, and all this, there's a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of, you can go to Fiverr, you can go to Upwork, you can go to Zippor, there are many places where you go, you put in, um, uh, you make sure that you get it right at the beginning, okay? Your, your, your request for a candidate has got to be stringent so that only people who are ready to step up are the ones who step up to want to be part of your team. And then of course, finally, um, when you've got into that level where you have a lot of clients, uh, remember the trick is in always the results that your clients get. The success of your clients is 
paramount. That's why you need a client success manager, okay? They don't have to be permanent, but they need to be the people who follow up. Have they done the exercises? Are they doing the daily reports? Are they following through? Do they have any challenges? You know, it's, it's a success manager stroke, a community manager kind of, of person who makes sure that, you know, all the things that need to happen for the success of your clients are actually happening. When you have those, and yes, they don't have to be permanent, then you have a pretty neat team for you to be able to go away in the world and continue to make your difference whilst this team also executes on your behalf. So I hope that was helpful. And if it was, hey, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel because we're producing stuff for you all the time, every time, because our number one role is to make sure that yes, you and me continue to have the audacity to live life on our terms. Until next time, peace.